Hi family, it's Leah from Table Talk here. Um, I just wanted to share uh, sort of maybe the thought process behind um, why you'll hear me say um, a lot of things and talk about a lot of things around vulnerability and authenticity on my show. Um, if you haven't already picked up a theme and you're listening, it's definitely uh, a place that I like to operate from personally and also something that I try and encourage in all of our guests. Um, there's been a big push, I think, um, with everyone being so disconnected after COVID, um, then our increasing, increasing online world and platform um, where we are not very good at connecting and um, finding points of of being real with one another there's whether it's your christian faith and trying to you know have it all together or whether it's uh you know just your day-to-day -day life or not finding you know room to connect with people it can be really really tricky so i guess um my heart and my heart for the show is so about um, providing a safe place for people to be able to show up as their authentic self. And the way that we often lead people there is through vulnerability. And I think um, it's important, important when we talk about vulnerability to remember that it's um, in the framework of healthy boundaries and not to be vulnerable for vulnerable sake. Like you don't overshare everything with everyone and, and not protect yourself. Like the um, there's the scripture, you know, don't cast your pearls to swine. Um, not that people are swine, but um, we do have to be mindful and considerate of that. But I guess for me and, and what I then am trying to take from them this show and then move out into, um, I suppose, the way I live my life and, and as hopefully would be an encouragement to you is that um, vulnerability creates a place where someone feels like they're able to share. And if we go from this place of, or oh, I've got the right theology or I've got, I, I know the right thing or I've got the answer, it's actually not really usually helpful or what people want. And they often can feel more likely they're going to close down when they really just might need a listening ear. So um, that's something that I really want to try and push for and advocate for um, on my show, regardless of if I think differently or believe differently to someone. I want to be able to have a, a create, create a space that um, people feel free and open to to share, to be vulnerable to and to be their most authentic self because um, that's what we're called to do, and we're called to show. We're called to show up and and be ourselves because we're all fearfully and wonderfully made. So, um, I just want to encourage you in your day to day. What's one thing maybe that you could do to um, be a bit more vulnerable? Um, whether you're in a position of leadership, um, that's really hard sometimes to say. I actually don't know the answer, or I don't. I don't know what I'm doing here, but being vulnerable and admitting weaknesses or flaws or faults or whatever it may be, um, or even having a scary conversation that you're afraid of the, you know, the repercussions or whatever it may be, I think is a really important um, place to start. And I just wanted to encourage you today, I guess, that, um, yeah, to maybe show up this week in a vulnerable way. Think of one way that you can um, be authentic that maybe you try and hide and put on your business hat or your, uh, you know, friendship hat, um, that maybe deviates from who you truly are. And yeah, I just encourage that if you show up today as you, you give permission to show up for the other people permission to show up as themselves. And that's what we really need. We need everyone to really be who they are because we are all so unique and so wonderful. Um, and so, yeah, I guess that's just what I want to encourage you with. And, and if you listen to my show and I'm not doing that and I'm not adhering to my own philosophy, well then absolutely let me know and pull me up too because I want to always be accountable to those two pillars. But thank you so much and have a beautiful day.